Inline or Ice? What are the differences? First, let's compare the blades. The ice blade is rockered, which means the front and back are rounded. Here you see a hockey skate, but the same applies to dance skates as well. Speed skates are different, but that's a topic for another video. These dice illustrate the blade's contact surface. A typical inline skate has a much longer contact surface. Please also note that rocket inline skates do exist, which make them more like hockey skates. What this all means in real life is that on ice skates it's more difficult to keep balance. A correct stance is more important on ice skates. Or as Bill Stoppard puts it, on rollerblades stay low, on ice skates stay lower. This is important not only for balance, but also for a good grip. Edges. The edges are completely different. Still, inline and ice skating are very similar. Crossover turns are the same. Transitions feel the same. Even slalom turns are mostly the same. However, the T-stop does not really work on ice. It's because dragging a skate behind you on ice does not really create much friction. The hockey stop works well on ice, thus the name hockey stop. But it's more difficult on inline skates. It's because an ice skate easily just shaves off some ice, while for inline skates the physics are completely different. The weight. Hockey skates are lighter than inline skates. Lighter skates make you quicker and let you go on for longer. A few hundred grams may not sound that much, but I do notice the difference. Finally, I'd like to mention that falling on ice is so much better. Just glide it off and up you go. This is the most important difference in my opinion. Although it's good to be aware of these differences, you should not forget that inline and ice skating are 90% the same. Just enjoy both kinds. The better you are at inline skating, the better you are at ice skating. And vice versa. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for updates.